Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We are going to be diving into a new series, or better yet, a couple new series. Um, I was kind of caught in between what style of map or theme to use, and so I have decided to do kind of like a mini-series. We're going to commit to three cities, and then out of the three cities, you guys will be able to vote for our next uh, big series. And so I thought this was a really fun way to involve the community and to also look at a couple different styles to build a city and then to um, kind of look at some tips and tricks and stuff like that. And so I think it's going to be really fun. And so the first thing I wanted to do was look at the map we have. So this is the River Valley Plain map that came with the Maps Content Creator Pack DLC that released back in January. And I really like this map. I think it has a ton to offer. It has two rivers. And then it has one arterial highway that runs down the middle. And I really like this feature. It allows you to kind of organically just grow along the highway without really having to um, put in any major infrastructure. Though I think we will end up um, pr probably putting a little pass through right here. I don't know if it'll be a freeway. It might just be a small couplet. But then it allows us to maybe put in a, an interchange right here with another connection over here. And then with a potential downtown right here. I think this is going to be a really good location for it and then have this be more of like your rural or suburban. We do have a couple lakes. Um, this one's a landlocked lake. Um, so we do have some really good opportunities. And one of the main reasons I chose this map is because of how many mountains it has. And I did um, dive into some themes and color LUTs that I'm going to go over in just a second. But I really like these plateaus. It really gives us an opportunity to build on top of some of these to maybe do like some high rises overlooking the downtown or just a bunch of different fun stuff that we can do. And so the theme that I'm using is the Rocky Lush theme by Snoozebee. Um, I really like it. The colors are great. I think it may be a bit too green. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you guys think it is. We can go ahead and shift that a little bit. But then I'm using the Clara color LUT. And then I did go in and change the cliff texture. I believe the cliff texture that I chose is the Biomes Updated 2 by Snoozebee. And I really like it because it's it's almost like a granite. And then this is zoomed out. It's only at 0. 0.0004 so that you can really get these big textures. And you don't see a lot of the double patterns whenever you're zoomed out. I did end up changing the road texture as well. And then I changed the ruined texture to the clayer one rather than the standard one that came with the theme. Because I really would like to have this brown rather than the... The green that comes with them um, a lot of the boreal theme styles like the colossal order boreal comes with a more of a green one i like having the brown kind of shore and the cool thing with this one too is you get little sprites which i think are awesome and so i did want to jump into a, f a city that i want to use for inspiration and that city is albany and so there's a few reasons why i chose albany one of the main ones is that it is the seat of government for the state of New York, which is a pretty large state. This whole area right here is a giant plaza and it has this huge reflecting pond. This is a giant sculpture called the egg. And these are all skyscrapers that sit on the plaza. This is a big skyscraper as well. And then this is a really big museum that actually has a bridge going across. And this whole area is just really cool. The freeway funnels into two parallel tunnels that go under and it's kind of weird there's just a turnaround over here that goes back into a tunnel but then there's a ton of underground parking for government workers and stuff like that and then this city is an older city for american standards it dates back to the 1600s and so there's a lot of colonial european inspiration and so i wanted to jump into the city so let's go ahead and jump right in there's a lot going on in Albany that I really like. This right here is a large government building that almost looks like a palace. It's kind of colonial or it's European inspired. But then you can see a lot of these older buildings as well, like this clock tower right here with this building. It just looks really cool. And then as we get further down on that same street, we can see a lot of more modern skyscrapers, but then a lot of really old ones too. And this uh, huge, I believe this is a university in the background, but it almost looks like a palace as well has a lot of really heavy European inspiration. And then this is kind of the older portion of the downtown. This is more near the water, but you can kind of see it's just mid rises. None of these are really old, but you can see just a lot of the architectural inspiration comes from Europe. This is a huge church right here, and it's a uh, reminiscent of like your old Gothic cathedrals. Um, and I don't know the exact date for this one, but I really like the feel here. And then this is that same plaza that we were looking at before, but just from the side here, the skyscrapers that sit off of it. And this is that giant museum with the tunnel. 
And this is going in the opposite direction on that main arterial that we were first on. And you can definitely see a lot of the historical buildings here. They're all brick. There's a lot of character and I just really like it. And so I think for our potential downtown, we are going to be trying to mimic some of this. I just really like the feel. And this is actually more of kind of a famous street for this area. But I really like the look of this, like all the, the power lines going across. There's these hanging lights and it's just a, a ton of character that I want to try to capture within our city. And so looking at the road layout within Albany, we can see that there is a grid system. If you kind of zoom out, there is a standard grids, but they're not all in the same direction. And these main arterials kind of break up the grids, especially right here. You have two parallel kind of parallel arterials, but then you have this diagonal road that actually connects them up. And it's really nice. I, I like the idea of having your highway come around the outside, but then these arterials that are almost like couplets, but they're farther apart that help to transport people away from the city in opposite directions. Like you can see, they go um, uh, diagonal to each other, but it really helps to transport people to these suburban areas. And you can kind of see by looking in here, none of these, this is where we really get away from the grids. We still have some patterning in here, but it's more haphazard. It's more all over the place. And a lot of that has to do with available terrain or maybe the developers. There's really a whole set of unique circumstances that can contribute to how the road layout ends up panning out within a city. And so let's go ahead and jump back into our city. All right, and so now that we have looked at that, I wanna to try to use some of that as inspiration. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I want to start off by using our little one ways, but we need to do this little erroneous road first just so we can unlock the roads. And so we're gonna come up over here. We're gonna choose the two lane one way road and we do need to be mindful of a little bit of a hill right here. It's just a small mound. It's not a lot, but you can kind of see how it just goes up. And so what we want to do is identify a corridor for this. And so I think if we stay at the bottom of that hill, it's going to end up working out much better. And so I think what we're going to do is just stretch this out over here, and then we'll be able to start building out some uh, residential areas. All right, and there we go. And you can see that we still got a little bit of that hill, not a lot. And luckily we got the roads to be more um, on the same level with each other which is really what i was trying to go for there and so now we are going to jump over to uh, dirt roads just because early on in the city it's one of the best ways you can uh, you can really kind of manage your finances especially as a budding city one of the things i try to think about is um if a city were to be developed out here what is the reason for it cities don't just sprout up out of nowhere obviously it's a game so we're kind of like god we can really do whatever we want but if this was a new city what's the reason that they're coming here is it because there's an oil industry or a, a farming industry, or maybe this is just a suburban area of another city, like say Crater Lake is just on the other side of the horizon and a developer decided to come out here. Like what are the reasons? And so I want to try to be mindful of that as we build out. And so we are going to establish uh, an industrial area pretty early on, especially as I believe um, having farming is super important. All right, so I think we're just gonna come down here. And then what I wanna do is follow this road all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this uh, little bridge piece into a ground piece though, cause I really don't like that look. And then we are gonna come up over here and we're just gonna follow the coastline. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I wanted to allow enough little zoning on the one side so that we can get some houses in here. And this is gonna really help to capture some character for this area. Cause that's really one of the main, main things that I wanna do. I want to give this city a nice feel so that when people come here, they're like, man, we want to, we want to live here. So you can kind of see the water is definitely coming up a little too much in some of those areas, but as they build out homes, they'll grade it out. And so what we're going to do for our first grid layout is um, just kind of go straight across. I still want to capture some form of, of symmetry here, but we're going to go a little more haphazard in some areas. And I think we're going to turn this into our first little uh, park slash school area. And then for our main crossovers, what we're going to do is actually just go across. And so what I want to do is create bigger grids that have a little bit of a backyard. Like you see how these aren't backed up to each other. We're not going to put paths in there. And these are still pretty small, but I, I want to try to make it so that if people were to move here, they would be moving here with a nice plot of land as well, not something that's really small. These are still pretty tight, so we're probably going to end up doing a little bit bigger pieces of land over here. But I think for start, that's pretty good because we need to get some residents in. Okay, so for our industrial area, we have a couple of things to be mindful of. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually put in our first entrance over here. And we will go like this, and then we will come up. And then we will come up over here. Let's say 
let's say like right here. This isn't a bad location because then it's got good access to uh, for workers, which is really important. I'm not too worried about the land not being even. We can always come back through and level a lot of it out. It's just something that we're going to have to deal with in this area. It's kind of hard when you have this as force ground piece because um, then you just don't know if you're going to be flat or not. Yeah, there we go. So I ended up just raising it up a little bit so that the ledge would be more on this road. And so this would actually be kind of like a naturally high area. And so we do need to start plopping down some of these guys before we uh, start spending all of our money. And so we're going to do an agricultural area right here. So we need to be mindful of pollution. And so I'm going to go ahead and stick these guys way over here. We may even... Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in the back because of that pollution little radius. I really don't want it to cross the road. And then we're going to go ahead and place this guy right next to it. And then we will place our water tower over here somewhere. Yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to place this guy. Mm, I don't want it to be too far away. So maybe we'll actually... Because if we put it right here, it's a little too close to the pollution. And if we put it over here, it's uh, apparently too loud. Though um, you tend to see water towers in residential areas pretty commonly but we're just going to place it right there and then i'm going to go ahead and lay down some water pipes okay and so i placed down water pipes and i did a power line i ended up putting it down the middle of this road as i felt like it's just going to really allow us some coverage over here and so now what i'm thinking is we need to do our zoning and so i don't want to put any industrial zoning on this street so we're going to go ahead and place these guys right here and then i'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of over here with residential and commercial all right, and there we go. I ended up putting the commercial on this main road as I didn't really want to intermix it in here. It is nice to sometimes do like little corner stores, but because this is still really close to that shopping center, I don't think that it's going to really be necessary at this point. But as we expand out, we'll definitely need to start putting some commercial down here. And then I decided to do some waterfront residential as once these grayed out, then these will really be able to be some really nice properties, especially waterfront. You would have like little docks and stuff. And so we can go ahead and unpause it now and we will see about getting our first residence. I hope now that, yeah, look, it already connected. That's great. And it's kind of funny. The waterfront area is the first to develop, which I kind of expected. It should have a little bit higher of land value just naturally for it being waterfront. Um, and these are actually some pretty nice little properties. They're literally right on the water. And even this, there's a little bit of granite kind of showing. It's nice. All right, we still up. Oh, there's our first little truck. Where's he going? What's he doing? Is that the ore truck? Oh, wow. Look at that guy. He's actually pretty big. I thought it was mostly dump trucks, but I guess not. Where's he going? Oh, he missed his first turn. He decided that going all the way around was faster. Maybe he's just trying to milk the clock a little bit. He's like, maybe if I take the long way, I'll, you know, get some more hours out of it. Um, but our city's coming together pretty good. We got some nice little shops coming in. We got a little go, nut, go Nuts Donuts, which is the standard guy. And we got a little neighborhood shop. I like this. Got the little patio. And I really like the pavement that comes with this theme. It's kind of like this stone. Um, it's not incredibly realistic to have it everywhere, but uh, I think it looks nice. It definitely, maybe we'll say that because this is a historical city, that's just how they did um, pavement for a long time. And so these are actually just remnants um, it does kind of connect up right here, but that would be how it was with the uh, regular. Oh, it looks like we have a little sprout. We don't have enough money to cover that poor guy. He's the one guy on the block that doesn't have water access. He'd probably be shut down by like city health officials. But I like how this looks. I think we'll come back and terraform this a little bit. Um, I don't like this edge right here. I was kind of hoping that we should have put the road just a little bit farther. Not much, but just just a little bit more. Um, but we have a ton of opportunities with this city to do like ferries and all kinds of stuff with how much water is here. Cause we could even do like a canal connecting these guys and then we could do ferries going all the way down and like either, either direction. And so, uh, we definitely have a lot we can do. I'm excited about it. All right. Little Hamlet 440. So taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. Big one is the taxes. We need to pause. Uh, we actually don't need to pause. We'll bump these up to 12, which is kind of like the theoretical maximum before people start really getting upset and moving away. And then let's go ahead and bump up our speed because we need to bump, get that population up. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this guy way over here. I think that's great. He has good access to the road. And then all of our pollution is kind of in this little pocket. And then I do want to put down 
this guy. I think we'll put him on this main road here. Let's see. We don't want to destroy too much. Yeah, I think that's great right there. So now it's like a little neighborhood clinic. And this is um, the one from the European assets. I do have the European theme active on here. And so I think I'm going to try to use those for most of this build. I know in Crater Lake, we kind of go back and forth between the European ones and the regular ones, which actually might be more realistic if we kind of switch back and forth, but we'll see. And so we do need to expand with some more residential. Our residential demand's already climbing up. And so I want to create another road. So let's, um, we'll say like right here is good. Yeah, I think this will be good. And I'll turn on snapping so I can get that straight line. Go like that. And I want it to be 90. Yeah, that's good right there. Look at that. And so we already got a pretty nice little pattern showing up here. Um, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical as it's something that I really don't want to follow in this series as much. We still are going to follow symmetry a lot of the time, but and I really wish our ground was level. This is just such a problem. So we're going to go like that. We're going to do two squares of spacing in between them because then it gives them even more of a backyard. It's fantastic. And I think for this guy, we'll go like this. And, I mean, having those that close is terrible. Maybe we'll actually end it right here and then have it turn in. Now, it's a neighborhood, and so having that that close wouldn't be the end of the world. I'm just going to go ahead and put water pipes under this. All right, and so I ended up deleting that power line that was going through here as well. We really didn't need it. Um, but then I'm going to come in here and we're going to put in zoning. We're going to not do that top portion again. And we still do need to do our elementary school. And I have a pretty fun idea for us to do something cool. And then let's go ahead and put in just a small smidgen of commercial right there. And I think we're going to do our school right there along with a park. I think that would just be a fantastic Oh, being in building, let's go ahead and put in that water pipe. We completely forgot about that poor guy. He was probably going to City Hall too. Like, how did you guys forget my property? How's our everything going? Yeah, pretty good. We definitely need to get our elementary school in. Was it? Yeah, 10 grand. So we're, we're getting close. We could take out a loan. I try not to take out the loans until I'm absolutely required to. All right, there we go. Unlocked. And I do want to create a little bit of a parking lot for it. I think we're just going to do something similar to what I've done in the past where we do the little turnaround. I really like those parking lots. I, they're, they work really well, um, especially for elementary schools because you really don't need anything major. I'm just thinking more something for uh, like the faculty and then any parents that are maybe coming. Oh, look at that. Worthy, Worthy Village. So 900. Man, we're really growing pretty fast. So we got districts, policies, our second loan, district specialization, service policies, emergency services, which is really the big one. But then also agricultural specialization. Ooh, I didn't even realize. I knew you got organic and local produce, but I didn't realize we got self-sufficient buildings this early. I don't really know if we're going to do self-sufficient in this build as much as we did in Crater Lake, though. Because this is going to be more of like a historical build than anything. So I'm going to come up over here and we're going to go up one and then we're going to come over and we're going to go like that. Bam. Look at that. And I did the drive all the way around. I mean, it looks good. If we could somehow fit parking in there, that would just be fantastic. And so um, with the big parking lots, you want to use these little border roads around the outside and go like that go all the way around. And then if it's um, on the wrong side, I have to just right click it and it turns the curb to the other side. These parking lots are actually super easy to use. And they work really well. I like them because you can you can morph them into basically any shape you want to. So we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna go like this, go like that, and I'm gonna squeeze this guy over just a bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in some handicap in the middle. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. And then we will jump over to the clipping remover. And what this does is just gets rid of these nice these ugly little patches. That oh, looks like we already got a car too. It's the pavement's not even done and somebody's already like, I need a parking space. It's kind of funny. We're on a little bit of a hill again, but it's nothing we can really do. And so we're going to go in here. We're going to place this guy down. I think we'll go like right there. Yeah, look at that. That's just great. That is fantastic. And then we don't have access to parks or anything yet. And so we are going to wait. We do need to put down some emergency services though. And so I think we will go... So this side is a little bit closer to that road. And so if we place the fire right there, then it should theoretically be able to access the 
yeah, the industrial area, which I think is fantastic. See if we place this guy over here. It's kind of the same thing, but on the opposite side, which I think is really good. I like to not destroy a ton of buildings. Oh, there you go. So now we got fire right there, medical clinic right there, and then our nice little uh, European police station right here, which I think is just awesome, especially with this uh, kind of pavement right there. Well, I guess we're having something crazy happen. Where are these guys racing to? Man, what's this guy? Does he have somebody in there already? Where is he going? He just raced off. Is he going back already? He literally, right when it opened, yeah, he's going back. Wow. That guy's a rebel. He literally came out, turned on his lights, raced down the street, and then just did a loop. He was like to show everybody his presence. Like, I'm in town. I'm the law around here. All right, so this um, is coming together pretty good. And we have all of our services. We have electric and fire. We could do a district. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting. So we are going to paint this all into one district. And we're going to call it Old Town. Even though it's, it's new right now, it will eventually be Old Town. And there'll probably be a bunch of old timers that are like, I remember when I first moved here. There was only 30 houses. We used to have to walk to school barefoot, uphill, both ways. All right, so tiny town, 1400. Park areas, industry areas, landscaping, event policies, park policies. And parks and plazas, which is really what we needed to finish our school. So um, thank you. And then industry areas, so we can start working on that um, agricultural area, which would be fantastic. And we do need to do another residential expansion, so we will probably... Uh, work on that in just a second so let's come in here and we're gonna go to old town back in my day all right and so let's go ahead and finish this guy so i want to come in here we're gonna do a small playground really like it i mean anybody who's watched my series before this is kind of becoming a standard model for me all right so now what we're gonna do we're going to put a fence around this guy we're gonna do a park fence um nothing too crazy it's just a really clean fence um just because elementary schools a lot of times at least where i'm from they're normally fenced off they're controlled areas i'm just gonna shift this over a little bit so that we can get that one way kind of a little more uh, parallel yeah that looks good it looks like this one's a little off too we'll go like that and then what we're going to do is jump into a nice tree. I think we're going to use this young linden. Even though we are in a boreal map, I think because it's a school, it's to be kind of a nice tree to use. We may need to adjust the spacing. I really like the grass with this uh, theme. I think it just looks great. That grass texture is awesome with those little sprites that keep moving. It's just got such good texture. It makes it feel more real. And so there you go. We've got some nice trees in now. It's really windy, but let's go ahead and place down a little jogging area, maybe. We're just going to do a small one, so we're going to go like that. And yeah, we'll say it's connected up, but then I'm just going to do a couple little benches for the kids. Maybe they're out here during recess or something. My the elementary school I went to had just really large concrete area. Like we had tether ball and then like a basketball and stuff like that, and so I'm it's kind of hard to incorporate that into a bigger area. It honestly would probably be much larger than this, but I think this looks good. And so we are going to build a park around this as well. Did we get parks and plazas? We did. All right. So let's go ahead and build out another residential area first, and then we will come back here to our park. And so for this next one, we kind of face a challenge so we can continue going up and then have it kind of turn in. I think that honestly may be the best bet here. Because I still want to keep a sense of symmetry, but I also want to make it so that the road makes sense. So we're going to have it come up here. And we're going to go like that. Yeah, I like that. That actually looks really good. I like the curve there. I think it worked out really well. And then that way we can just um, copy these. And I want to turn off that so that we don't get rocks and logs and trees on the road, even though we've kind of already done it. This road is way overgrown it's like nobody's driven on this road in forever it's just got all these trees on it same with this one even though this is a brand new road it's like whoever built the road just just didn't even care they're like just roll with it all right so let's come in here we're gonna go like that yeah look at that we'll actually turn this into a small little commercial area 
I think we'll turn this into a commercial area as well. Because I want to do like a nice little shopping center. So I think actually we will um, delete this guy and turn this into a nice shopping center. I think that would be nice. Something just really nice because then we'll um, backfill this with residential. Yeah, there we go. I decided to do a little row of commercial down here just because these people down here are kind of getting a little too far from up there. And so it'd be nice to have kind of like a little corner store. And then we will end up doing uh, residential all the way around this guy. And then on the front end, we're going to do like a little parking lot. But I have an idea to do something fun with like the organic and local produce. And so now that we got that growing and we got water pipes down and everything, I want to come in here and paint this as a park area. It's kind of big, but I'm not super worried about it at this point. Did that automatically make everything blue? Oh, I think because the school is there, it actually, oh, the park. So because the park is now in the park area, it kind of hurts it a little bit. It does seem a little bright. I think I'm gonna turn off the bloom in here. Yeah, there you go. Definitely took away some of the white. Still a little white, but it's not overly white. It was kind of getting really forceful there for a second. And so now that we have our park area, what I want to do is jump in here and we're going to put the main entrance like right there. I think that is just fantastic. You know what? Actually, I don't know if that's... Let's go ahead and move it to the side because I think having it up there is actually not great, like right off the main road. Um, so right here is better. And then what we will do is um, jump into park paths and yeah, we'll do the one with trees because then we can um, adjust the trees a little bit. And there we go. It's not really the prettiest of designs, but I think it's going to work for our purpose. I do want to shift this guy up a little bit. I actually think it looks okay with the pavement right there. I think we're going to leave it like that. Actually, I really like this pavement. I think it's awesome. And so now what we're going to do is do some trees. And then we, because this is our first park, we really don't have a lot unlocked. So we have one park plaza, which I think would be fantastic right there. And then let's go ahead and put the bathroom right across the street from that uh, path. And then um, let's put the info booth right there. And then let's figure out a nice area for the restaurant. And so the restaurant could be over here. Yeah, maybe we'll put it down here because it's almost waterfront. But I want to jump into our little uh, plaza that we have. And uh, I have this uh, restaurant plaza. And if anybody really likes it, I ha it's part of my mod list in the description. And so if you click it, it will bring you to Steam, where this is a part of the collection. I really like it. I think it's just fantastic. And there we go. We did get a little bit of a pavement tear in here, but I really like how, how many people are using this. Like you got all these people kind of sitting here. I do think it's weird that the barbecue's in the back, but I really like that people start to use these chairs, especially right next to the restaurant. I think it's just fantastic. Yeah, there we go. I ended up adjusting the height a little bit. We still get a little bit of a cliff back here, but it looks a little better so that we don't have that pavement tear. You still do get a little bit of a pavement rush back here, but I'm not super worried about it. And so now what I want to do is jump into our bushes and then, um, oh, we can also change these trees too. Actually, like, I think the, the little sugar maples are good in this setting and you can kind of see this park is already super popular. Um, not a lot of visitors through the main gate, but there's a lot of visitors coming through here, which is just fantastic. And so I want to come in here, go to our content creator trees, go to this new wild hedge. I just absolutely love this guy. And what we're going to do is go all the way around. And there we go. Just a really clean way to accentuate an area. And I think we're going to leave the rest empty. Having open grass areas within a park would be um, super important. And so our residential demand has collapsed. It does look like we need um, some power. So let's go ahead and pause so we can place this guy in. I think we will do... Let's go ahead and put it right here. We do end up losing a little bit of industrial, but I'm not super worried about it. So let's look at our water too while we're at it. So our water is getting down there. Let's go ahead and place another water tower. We will place this guy right there since this is going to be a commercial area. And then we do need another sewage treatment plant as well. We can delete this power line. And then let's put it in right here. We're going to end up um, upgrading our system if we choose this city. Kind of like how I did in Crater Lake. Um, early on in the game, I just kind of placed these down as it's a little bit harder with space to create a nice little uh, space for them. And um, 
I think they still look good, especially since they're all kind of boxed together, just as a little haphazard with all this industry. But we do need to start um, working on our industry area. And so what I want to do is probably use this as a main road. So let's go ahead and I don't think we need to upgrade it just yet, but we will utilize this guy. So let's come up here. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of a weird, um, weird shape, but just because of our uh, present limitations. And so I'm going to go ahead and go like that. And then we are going to just do the same thing over here. And there we go. And we do have access to the tools now. And so I want to come in here, just kind of smoothen these up. This would be a really big deal, especially with agricultural. You would want to uh, level the terrain. So that just looks a lot better. And so now let's go in here and we are going to paint this as, why are we paused? As an industrial area. We may end up having to kind of work with this layout. I don't particularly like this kind of half moon. I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of this guy and we will have this turn. And so we will come down. Yeah, that looks better because then at least it's uh, kind of following the pace a little bit or the, the outskirts, outskirts of this. And so I want to jump into our agricultural now and we're gonna go ahead and place the main building over here. I wanna make sure that I got this guy in there. So we're gonna place the main building right there. And then we do need to be mindful of pollution. So it looks like this whole outer ring and even up to like that point is polluted. And so we really don't want to place anything there. So we're gonna place one there, place one there, place one there, place one there. And then I think we will place them on the opposite side as well. And then what we're gonna do, we need a couple silos. So we'll go like that, go like that. And then I'm just gonna place down water pipes. And then we are going to also paint this as a regular district because I wanna use the agricultural specialized, the specialized agricultural for the regular generic industry as well. Cause I really think it's gonna help us to kind of fill in this area. And I do want these to be corn. So I feel like corn is going to fit in a little more with this area. We may end up doing a couple more. Oh, look at that. Boomtown. 2400. And so this milestone really doesn't give us too much. Uh, it gives us transport, but I normally don't start doing transport for a while. It does give us post service, though, which is super important. A lot of these other services we're not going to start using for a little while, but I'm going to go ahead and switch these all to corn real quick. All right. And there we go. And it's kind of funny. This is the gaps a little wider. So I think what we're going to do is we will actually come in here and go like this. And I think we don't really want, these are so close. It's gonna cause a major problem. We may have to come back through here and fix that because this is gonna cause some serious issues having these that close, but we'll see when it comes. Um, if we don't make this too large, then we may not come into that issue. And so I do wanna place down some animal pastures though. So we're gonna go like that, go like that. And then we need to place down a warehouse. So we'll do Animal products warehouse right there. We'll go ahead and jump in here, animal products. And then I want to utilize some regular yellow zoning for this too. So we're gonna come in here because this really helps to kind of clean up the area and make it look a little more official. And for the specialized industry, there's two, time, there's two kinds that you get and it depends on whether you're on top of the required resource or not. And so whenever you're doing it, it's always good to have um, specialized industry that's not above whatever resource you're doing. So in this case, fertile land. And so these will turn into processors and then these will turn into extractors. And in order to actually get the end product, you want to have both of them. And so is this even fertile land yet? Yeah, it is. It's barely on it though. So you can even see a lot of those aren't turning into fertile land. And this whole thing right here is all ore. This is all, oh, that's such a huge puddle of oil. We're definitely going to have to do something with that oil. So this is going to become a huge oil industry. And then we will probably end up cutting this up and turning the rest of this into farmland. But I really like how these look. I think um, they look great when they're, when they're all built out. It really helps the area to look more alive. And so it does look like we are in need of residential again. And our commercial demand is starting to climb up. And so I do want to fill in this space as well. Let's go ahead and follow this across and see if we can fit in another small area over here. 
All right, so we were able to fit in another area. I did smoothen it out a little bit, and then I pushed our bank just a little bit further to make these homes just a little bit farther from the water. I felt like in some cases the water was a little too close for it to be realistic. And so I'm going to go ahead and place down some water pipes real quick. All right, and so now we got some more residential coming in, which is fantastic. Our city is actually starting to look really good. I kind of wish the agricultural area was a little different and my testing it came out a, a little different than that, but I think it looks good. Oh, look at that. So we got park a chessboard, park pier one and park pier two. And we also hit the next milestone for our, uh, our agricultural area as well. So let's see if we can really, I mean, we might be able to squeeze in the chess area. No, I think this park's tapped out. Whenever we get the gazebos, we can put them in, but um, let's go ahead and see what we unlocked for the agricultural area. So we got the flour mill, which is fantastic. We got the cattle sheds. So let's go ahead and place down some of these guys. These little barracks is really help with efficiency. So we're going to go like that, go like that. We're going to go all the way down. And these would be where I guess they um, maybe come in from another city and they live on the property when a harvest is happening or something like that. So I'm guessing those are. And so let's go ahead and place down some more of these guys. And we'll go that far. And then we will come up here. Got one, two. Not enough money. Make Starting to make some really good money though. So I'm hoping that these... Um, this is not enough workers. The downside to using the industries areas too early is that um, you end up tapping out all your workers. Uh, these take a lot of workers. So let's go ahead and look at it. So we have 585 workers which we have 263 at the moment. It looks like we need to get to 350, which we are climbing in order to get to the next unlock. Um, it shows us not really selling any crops just yet. A lot of that is because they're just loading these up. But once they start uh, sending them out to over here with them helping the yeah, others crops over here, we should start making money from our animal products. But this is unbalanced as well. We really don't need um, this unbalanced just yet. Once we start getting some um, factories in then yeah we want to uh, we want to try to keep those resources but for right now I think it's okay we are starting to have a little bit of an issue with this intersection already um, we are going to need to upgrade our roads at some point but I think for right now it, it actually looks good and so let's go ahead and build out this commercial area and so what I'm thinking is I want to use some parking lot roads um, I really like having street parking that just looks really cool so i think it's actually this guy right here parking lot urban yeah so it's this guy and we're gonna go like that we're gonna get out of the info view and i want this to be in the middle so we're gonna go like that and the thing with this parking is that it allows it allows you to do parking on either side of the road so it really gives you an opportunity to do like main streets or, I mean, the, the possibilities are really limit, like endless. But we're going to go ahead and go like this. And then we're going to go ahead and go like this. And so my goal is to do almost like a little mall or a, like farmer's market area with the um, organic and local produce. We're going to jump in here and then we will designate this as organic and local produce. so We can get those little stalls and stuff. I really like the assets that come with this. They're really fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place down the parking spaces real quick though. Um, they're super easy. I have the, I have the parking space, um, parking lot snapping tool. And so they literally sit in these little rails and then once you click on it, they, um, begin to come down. So we're going to go ahead and go like that. And then you'll come up over here and these ones kind of clip over into the edge. I'm actually going to jump down to a smaller guy. We'll come down and go like this, just go all the way down and voila. So I ended up making these all handicaps. A lot of times you end up having handicap has a priority on street parking, but I really like how this looks. And then what we're going to do is just come in here and uh, zone these in as our little, um, little shop. I think I'm going to, well, we'll keep those small because then we get those little stalls, which is actually really nice. Let's see what kind of buildings come in here because we should get like some of those little restaurants and the little, uh... oh yeah, look at this. So this is like a healthy health food store. Again, I really like the the pavement. I think that's great. Organic corn. That's actually really fitting since we have corn within the city. It does look like I need to do water real quick. And then, oh yeah, we got a little stall out here. Place for your stuff. I really like these. So they're like little containers and you just kind of go like, this looks like a little food bar. You order your food and then just go sit down. And I think this is another organic corn. They were doing so good over there. They decided to franchise and branch off over here. 
then here's a little electric car parking lot which is great that's actually how you get parking lots in the vanilla game one of the one of the ways um fair's coffee of them all it's like a little hipster kind of coffee shop got a little bench in the back this is nice the burned bean all right so this is looking really good we are having um not enough worker issues but it's mostly just because we built out such a large industrial area not enough buyers for products so we need to place down another grain silo over here and then as we expand this area out we are going to backfill it with more of these we just need to get our population up and so i think we will actually turn this into some residential as well let's um let's do that i think that's a good idea yeah there we go we get a little bit of a character here let's look at the pollution though before we start so we know pollution's on that back end. Pollution's really creeping into here. These shouldn't be polluting. Oh, did we forget to? We did. Wow. We forgot to say agriculture. I was like, why is that polluting? <laughs> That's so funny. I always forget that. That's why I was like looking at them. I was like, these aren't the correct buildings, but I didn't even think to check. All right. So now they're all disappearing and they will come back in as the correct buildings. And our uh, pollution shouldn't be that bad, but we're going to go ahead and place some uh, small commercial just on this far side. And then we are going to actually uh, put commercial on this side anyways. And voila. That's kind of funny. I don't know if any of these are going to grow in now. Oh, we got one guy down here. He's all the way at the end, ready to wear LTD. He's not even a part of the, look at that. He's barely, he's holding out. He's like, I'm not moving. I spent my whole life savings on this. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I've got to do it. He's still not going to move. And we're not going to get any of them now. Well, it's my own fault. I should have checked it. I was definitely dumb. But we're going to get them to backfill eventually. And then it'll kind of look good. I'm going to go ahead and put water pipes down here. And voila. Our city is looking really good. I think this is great. And we got money. We got a lot of room to expand. We um, still have a couple things we haven't done. You know, big ones actually cemetery. Let's go ahead and pause because we're going to end up having a major issue if we don't place a cemetery. And it's kind of funny. I don't know why I forgot. That's such a big thing. So I would like to actually place a cemetery over here. Let's um, figure out what we're going to do with this road. So let's come down here and we're going to grab this guy. And what were we thinking? So we're going to probably come down here so I think we're gonna turn it right we're getting a little bit of an elevation there but again it's not the end of the world we just uh, I would prefer it not to be there yeah there we go so it looks like we ended up getting it all raised up to begin with so I'm just going to smoothen this out and then what are we gonna do for this next grid so I think we will come down and then turn it and we will actually turn this into our first uh, main arterial we do need a four lane road so let's come down here yeah there we go and so now we have our main kind of arterial coming down we are going to end up having to upgrade these into small four lane roads but since we're getting a little further away from our main road we would want to start doing some four lanes and really set up um, like transportation corridors and stuff like that and so let's go ahead and jump in we're still going to use the dirt roads because we're really saving a ton of money with them right now but I do want to finish off our little, so we're going to go like this. We'll go like this and then we'll come across. Oop. Yeah, there we go. It's actually got some nice character to it. I like that we ended up turning that in. It isn't at the same angle as this, but it allows us an opportunity to really do some fun stuff here. I think we may even connect that up. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, that'll be great because then we can actually turn that into a small little uh, commercial area. So I'm just going to lay down water pipes real quick. And voila, our city is slowly expanding. This is actually looking really good. So I want to I want to put commercial off this main road. So we're going to come down here. I think we're going to go like this. And then we're going to continue our commercial on this guy. But then I think we'll put turn that into a park. Go like this and then we still need to do our high school as well we keep forgetting that's like so terrible maybe we'll nah, it's too far for us to put the high school on that side i don't think that that's going to be good could put it in here i kind of wish we had put it right there so we're actually going to um imminent domain these guys you know terrible but actually i don't know if that's enough space it's just it's really centralized no, 
The city's backtracking after demolishing a certain amount of homes, so we're going to do a high score right here. Oh, look at that lemonade factory, milking parlor, medium crop field, which is great. We can really start pumping out some more stuff. Go ahead and do our high score now. So I want to come in and put in a parking lot. We're going to do probably the same parking lot as the other one, though um, high schools do tend to require more parking. And there we go. Parking lot looks a little weird, but it's just because of the curve right here. And so for the high school, what we're going to do is just kind of place this guy down. We'll go like right there. And then I do want to put in some of the sporting parks. We're going to go ahead and place the tennis courts and the basketball courts. Just because I think they're really nice for this area. I think we're just going to delete this little middle guy. So I think that looks weird. And then we can um, shift this guy over. Yeah, there we go. It's a big open area, but it would be seen as just an area that you could walk to, especially since it's right in front of that. And I think it's a little more fitting. We're not going to do a fence or anything around high schools. High schools a lot don't don't have fences around them like that. I do want to put this guy right here, though. It's because this would be a really nice location for a funeral. Just be a nice area. Like, you can see the water and just be nice. It's kind of funny. We added funerals in much later than what they should be. And so we are kind of in a little bit of an issue with it now. I do want to try to put a park next to this though. So I think we're going to go in. I want it to be a little bit. Yeah, you know what? That's actually perfect right there. Look at that. And then let's go ahead and do some paths. We haven't even touched on paths yet. And I'm super big on paths. Paths are so important for your city. And then it's just such an easy way to do like some nice decorations and stuff. And I think that's probably good. I do want to go in and do um, some trees, though. So we're actually going to come to this live oak, a big tree. Just really like this guy. I think it's such a great tree. Yeah, I think this looks fantastic. And then I think we will do these young lindens on the front. Just because we did them with the other school. And so we could say that the school has similar uh, design theologies. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks good, especially now with all the people walking around. So just be really good for the for the area. And so I think this is probably pretty good. If you guys like this city and you'd like to see me expand the city out, especially once we start getting into a downtown, because we're going to really start grabbing into some of that Albany stuff. That's why I showed it, because if we choose the city, then we're really going to go all in. We're going to start using a lot of the European themes and we're just going to get crazy with it. We still do have some problems that we need to address, mainly roads. We need to start upgrading them start creating some more arterials and then we um, need to get our population up so that this whole area isn't as bad as it looks. Um, I left it open like this cause we're just, we still need to start doing the, the industrial looks like we got some, so we got Amy's baking company, but then we need to do like the bakery and some factories. And as we expand this out, it'll really start to look a little cooler, but I think this looks good. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're interested in another city start, go ahead and click on the video on your screen. And remember, we're going to do some voting for this um, after we do three of them. And so thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.